I was pressing a ton of buttons. Did you not hear me? You know, something that never just found me in the entire music scene and just listening to music in general. Yeah, they get down like that on Pandora. Especially when an album comes out and then one or two days later, there's always just a certain, like, group of people that is very fond of being inside and all around the statistic side of how many units the album sell or whatever and comparing that to that being the reason why that this artist is better or inferior vice versa and i never understood that it just completely like blows over my mind of you comparing numbers to a body of work that someone put their soul and mind into and all of that being soiled down to just um this man sold this many copies and he sold 100k more copy units than this artist, so he is therefore superior to this artist. And that just, it's just like, why, why even listen to music if you're just gonna hold that so high? It's like, do you hold the music higher than that or the actual, like, statistics? It's like you need the statistics just to prove that liking this artist is a good reason for liking this artist. Then just saying, I really enjoy their music. Who cares what their album sales does? Who cares if they make a single, like having that thing racking up charts for like a year or two, and then they finally come out with an album, and then they put that single on the album to get even more plays and boosts, you know? I wasn't coming at any artist, I was just, you know, something. But the main point of this, to, I guess, speed it along a little bit more, is just this whole thing sparked up to my idea of thinking about music and albums and everything in between is because on Twitter, the breeding ground for many, many interesting things, that people have seen the projections of Kendrick Lamar's Big Stupper album, and it has sold to be 286 or 270 ish it was around in that range i think from when i checked it to recording this on the date i guess but uh, i just like sure uh i think it was like something saying the projections was like drake of course i think uh kanye someone else j cole and uzi in that order i think and it was saying like wow uh j cole uzi and all these other people sold way more than him on this and uh to pimp a butterfly did like 300k plus like uh what's going on is kendrick falling off does this mean he's falling off oh my god is <laughs> Is all these other artists better than him? Is J. Cole better than- oh, ooh. Sure, I guess. <laughs> you could consider that. Unless you actually listen to the album and make your own formal opinions about it instead of looking solely at the sales of something. But at the end of the day, I guess, you know, I'm just very biased on it because me personally, I don't- When people just say, oh, he sold uh, this many copies of this album, huh? Crazy. I just think, oh, hey, cool. Well, I'm about to play the fucking Big Stepper again for like the eighth time or like, I don't care about how many units it sells, how many plays it gets to be be sold into units i don't care <laughs> like why would you care i mean i get people care but it's like why would you care especially from like a normal perspective of it just why would you care like i just don't get that side of it at all like the main entertainment and enjoyment from an artist that you like and spend so much time listening and listening and listening over and over again to how many ever songs you like from that artist is 100% coming from the music that they make. It's not coming from every single unit sale they're doing from their album or how many 
plays or whatever it's getting from a single or how many plays it's getting boosted from a uh, freaking uh, I forget what it's called a front runner single I don't I don't know what it's called but yeah it's not coming from that it's coming from the emotion and what they're saying or just how the song makes you feel or the entire album makes you feel I just don't understand why people are so like clingy over just the number part of music <laughs> Like, it, it, it just blows my mind on that. And then you got all the regular peasants like me, I guess. She's like, oh, cool. Well, I'm gonna go, you know, rerun all these songs again while you just spout about this, like, random BS no one cares about. But I guess this little rant piece is just, you know, a little fed up with that idea. Of just, oh, wow. He did more unit sales. He's better. But, yeah, that's it on that. But getting off that topic in hand and... The whole, uh, that kind of, <laughs> dang, I that kind of ruined my train of thought and vibe for a second. But uh, Donda Two, that might be happening, baby boys. <laughs> we might be getting a Donda Two, and supposedly a song with eggs is on it. You know what I'm saying? That's gonna that be fire. And speaking of eggs, speaking of eggs, there's gonna be a new documentary coming out along with a new album. Look at me, baby. Look. Oh, man. If that, I don't know what uh, character arc the music is mainly catered from of X. Rest in peace. But, I mean, hey, I mean, what was the last album that came out? Skins, I'm pretty sure. I think it was skin. It was Bad Vibes Forever. Bad Vibes Forever. Yes, it was Bad Vibes Forever. Now, for me, that album, I really enjoyed because most of it was planned out way before the untimely demise of X. Most of the albums and inner working pieces were already laid out before he passed away. So on certain songs, he already wanted exactly who he wanted to be on it and all of his parts were done. And it was just mainly waiting for the green light for those artists to get on the songs and those tracks. So for me, that's why it didn't feel that bad. Juice World's last album, I believe it was Fighting Demons, with my purest take on that after a while that finally rested on and just want to share my opinion on it. But yeah, Donda 2 possibly in the long-awaited X documentary and a album to boot with it. It's great news on the music scene because I have been waiting for that documentary for well, quite some time. But the main message of this is just don't, just, if, if you don't already care about the units and sales and numbers of an album stay out of it it'll it'll do you so much good in the long run highly recommend don't just don't dive into that stuff because man it is quite depressing a donda 2 possibly in the xxx documentary and new album if you like the video like it if you don't no one's going to be able to tell you did it and my name is great ape your lovely host and i'll see you in the next one